Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note and this is the last episode of 2019. And in this video, inspired by Brian Tong and his What Can Apple Do Better in 2020, I thought we could do What Can Samsung Do Better in 2020. Let's get started. So let me start by saying that this is not a rumor roundup. There are plenty of rumors for the Samsung Galaxy series for 2020. And I think Samsung themselves are seeding this in order to take some of the hype away from Apple. Speaking of Apple, this is not an Apple can do in 2020 video because there are enough and more coverage of Apple in the US Western media. I think it's part of the American hype machine, but for better or worse, this channel is known as the Vlog of Note channel and most people come here for Samsung leaks and rumors. So we're making a what can Samsung do better in 2020 video. I've divided this video into three parts. The first part is simplify the naming scheme. Dear Samsung, we have the Samsung Galaxy S series, we have the Samsung Galaxy A series, we have the Samsung Galaxy M series, I don't know what S and U stand for, but we have the Samsung Galaxy Note series, and then we have the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy series. That makes S-A-M-S-U-N-G, Samsung. It would be really nice if we could have just a couple of names to choose from. In this link in the description, right next to that like button on GSM Arena, you can see all of the Samsung phones that they launched in 2019, and you can see over 50 devices. Granted, some of these are going to be smartwatches and tabs, but even after Samsung told us that they're going to give us a simple lineup, this is what we're left with. The Samsung Galaxy M30 is a great phone. The Samsung Galaxy M30s is a great phone. But when you have the Samsung Galaxy M31 coming up, you know you're in trouble. Beginning right with the Samsung Galaxy S series. Oh, and what comes after the Samsung Galaxy S10, Samsung? Isn't it the Samsung Galaxy S11? Why is it the Samsung Galaxy S20? According to this tweet a couple of days back, the Samsung Galaxy S11 is going to be called the Samsung Galaxy S20 because you know 2020 and that makes a lot of sense. We want an entry-level phone, a budget mid-ranger and the flagship series, that's it. The second point I need to talk about is screen sizes. We have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, which is literally the best Android tablet on the planet right now. I mean that literally because if you consider the Snapdragon 855 to be the flagship Android processor of this year, then the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is the only Android tablet to consider buying. Unfortunately, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 only comes in a 10.5 inch option and Apple, the company that gives you all of the options that you want, has given you a 10.2, a 10.5, 11 inch and a 12.9 inch option. I know that there exists the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8.0, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A10 or the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e, but I would like to have more size options on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, please. Coming to the smartphone side of things, according to CounterPoint Research, link in the description, the top selling smartphones of Q3 2019, you will find the iPhone XR there at the top of the list, right where it's been from its launch date almost. And then you come over to the Samsung side of things, you find the Samsung Galaxy A10, which is a 6.2 inch screen. I don't know about you, but from where I'm standing, anything above six inches would be considered to be a phablet for me. This year in 2019, the only small phone that Samsung Samsung makes is the Samsung Galaxy S10e, the economy or essential or everyone phone at 5.8 inches. And next year, the Samsung Galaxy S11e is going to be 6.4 inches. Samsung, there is a market for people who don't want to be holding up a plate to their ears every time they want to make a call. The final point I want to talk about is enter the smart home. When it comes to smart side of things, Samsung launched Bixby in 2017. When I say launched, they forced it on us with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and then with every other flagship phone from then on, Bixby was the default assistant. Right now in 2019, Bixby has all of one skill or tablet or power or whatever that thing is called. And when you come to the home side of things, Samsung introduced the Galaxy Home in 2018. And then after that, we heard about a Galaxy Home Mini, but neither of these products have actually launched. Recently, we had a tweet and a website set up called Neon.life, which seems to be Samsung's next attempt at AI. Now, to be clear, as soon as they launched Neon.life, a lot of people put up articles saying bye bye Bixby and welcome Neon. But Samsung themselves have put out a tweet saying that Neon is not about Bixby. When it comes to the smart home, Amazon's ALEXA has the dominant position with 70% market share, Google Home has 25% and Apple's Siri has 5%. Here's 
what I want Neon to be, which is supposed to launch at CES 2020. It should be a Sono speaker plus a Roomba plus an assistant, hopefully the Google Assistant and a baby cam. Then it can actually be an artificial human and not Samsung's cryptic tweet and cool logo about have you ever met an artificial. Anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments in the comment section down below about what you think Samsung should do in 2020. I'm excited to find out. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell there so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much for the support in 2019. It's been an awesome year. I will see you guys in the next week's episode.